Hello, I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to the program, fuckers. And uh, today I'd like to talk about, I'd like to talk about chronographs. That's right, fuckers. That's wristwatches with that stopwatch on them. And I, I got to tell you, in my own, my own uh, fascination with watches, I came to chronographs rather late. And the, the reason this happened was, I, uh, my first watch I bought, I couldn't afford, afford no chronograph. My first watch was a, a Rolex Explorer 1, which is a very simple three-hand, no-date, <coughs> automatic piece. <clears throat> I then, I bought that when I was uh, 18. And then, I, I always had a love of watches. And uh, I found, I, I, I discovered a guy who was selling vintage second-hand pieces. This is pre-internet. This was late, uh, mid-90s. And uh, I discovered this guy who was selling second-hand pieces. And I, I remember I just bought, <clears throat> I bought some pieces off him. I, I bought a, uh, a Cartier tank and a Cartier... Uh, it was a must too, believe it or not. And uh, I love those watches. Because I, I couldn't afford those at the time. So, you, you know, when, when you go into collecting second hand, you go for things that you couldn't afford. And, uh, I mean, years ago. You couldn't afford them years ago. And then what happened, fuckers, is that I, I slowly... I started investigating. I started... I, I had a love of watches, and I started advertising to buy, to buy pieces. So I started buying whatever I could, and I, I didn't get, <clears throat> I didn't get offered any chronographs. And that's probably why I didn't come into chronographs. It was mainly when I was advertising for buying watches. I, I got a lot of Submariners, Datejust, you know, things like that, Tudors, heaps of Tudors. So, <clears throat> there was never really many chronographs, because you know, see, the thing is, with me, I've always, I've been on the bones of my ass fuckers. I'm not some rich fucker who can just buy what they want. I always had humble budget. I had to scrimp and save, nickel and dime, trade, horse trade, to buy things. So, for me, I always saw the prestige in, in a fine dress watch. The gold pieces, blingy shit. Well, not really blingy, but, you know, sparkly stuff. And um, so I came to chronographs rather late. And I, I got to tell you, I, now, now that I've, I've gone full circle, I love chronographs. I, I think they're a, um, they're a wonderful thing. And they're just, you know, it, it's, I, I love a complicated dial. I do. And... I just think they're so fucking cool. The thing is, fuckers, the thing is this. In my own... See, I, I never bought pieces new. So I, I always... I was very much into high-end brands. So, you know, it, <clears throat> the mid-90s... I, I was very much into Rolex. Rolex. And, I mean, Rolex chronographs were fucking expensive. I, I never... They, they were scarce as hen's teeth. So that, that sort of threw me out of that equation. I also, um, Omegas, I, I never really had many Omegas offered to me. Not many, I never had a Speedy offered to me. And uh, this is the whole thing. You know, the, the chronographs themselves, they're so cool. And uh, I, I can't believe it took me so long to get involved in chronographs. But, I mean, they're expensive fucking things. And um, I was a bit of a brand name snob, so that excluded me from things like Seiko. You know, the, the Seiko... Uh, Seiko had a lot of chronographs, so I, I wasn't interested in fucking Seikos. So that, that, that's sort of the, the path I took. But um, the, the first time I saw a chronograph and said, wow, was uh, in the early 2000s. I was selling watches, because I've been an IT man. I was selling watches for a... Uh, I was put, taking pictures and putting them on the internet to sell them. eBay and Time Zone, things like that. And I, I had this beautiful Breguet. It was a, uh, it wasn't the Transatlantic. It was the Erinvale, the no date Breguet Type Twenty. 
and I looked at it and thought, fuck, this is absolutely beautiful. This is a cool piece. So that, that's really the first, the first chronograph I really, really lusted over. And uh, it took me, you know, it took me a while to sort of, you know, I had the things in life, you know, wives and divorces and shit like that there. It took me a long time to stabilize. But um, when I could, i.e. had a credit card with enough funds in it, I went and bought myself a Breguet, a Breguet Transatlantic. And uh, that's been a great piece. I love that. But, uh, you know, the, the Amiga Speedmaster Man on the Moon, that's, that's probably a, that's a watch that gives me so much joy. I just love it. Unfortunately, you know, I've, I've always, I've loved Pateks. Pateks have always been the, the watch. And uh, as you all know, I've got my Calatrava. Then, you know, when I was thinking about what would I like as my second Patek, if there was to be such a thing, and I wanted a Patek with many eyes. And that, that could be a chronograph or a calendar, an annual calendar or perpetual calendar. I wanted something that was complicated. Because I, I always thought, wow, they were so out of my price range. So out of my fucking league. And, uh, yeah, that's, 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 sort of, that's sort of how I... Um, I got the annual calendar because it's it's a multi-dial. It's got the the annual calendar display, but uh, a Patek chronograph, whew, poison, absolutely drug dealer money. And um, I got to tell you, fuckers, you know I'd love, I'd lo I don't know if I'm really has to be. I'm, I don't know if I'm lusting after a Patek chronograph, but um, I, I I was playing with the three nine seven zero perpetual calendar chronograph. Man, I could I could easily fall in love with that. That's for sure. That's a beautiful, beautiful grand complication. But uh, chronographs, such a cool thing. And uh, you know, if I had my time again, if I was buying a first watch, if I was the 19, 18 year old or nineteen year old Archie, I think I'd get myself an Amiga Speedmaster, preferably Man on the Moon. If not. The automatic reduced. I think they're good bang per buck. And uh, they're a great, great watch. Chronograph is so useful. And uh, it's, a, it's a great complication to have. I'm Archie Luxury. Tell, tell me what you fuckers think of that.